2015 weather with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. It turned out to be an absolutely beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. That storm yesterday kind of cleared everything out, didn't yeah. it? It really did, but it rained all day. And you remember we were <laughs> telling you on Friday, right. enjoy yeah. Saturday because yeah. yesterday was going to be an indoor day. You're and that's, right. that's exactly what it ended up being. And I tell you what, it looks like we have more rain on the way the middle part of the week. We're going to get a little taste of winter here across the Gulf Coast. It's been a little while since we talked about that, but no, it is not gone yet. We have freezing temperatures on the way as well as some chances for rain here for the middle part of the week. This afternoon made it up in the lower 70s. Right now we're sitting at 69 Mobile, 68 in Pensacola, 72 right now the warm spot in Crestview. So a beautiful afternoon shaping up here across the area with a few high clouds, but we do expect to stay dry for this evening and dry for most of the day tomorrow. But by tomorrow night in the Wednesday, Cold front's going to pay us a visit that Arctic front, and that's what's going to bring some chances for rain to the area. Now, the good news for us, of course, the rain and the freezing temperatures are not going to come at the same time, so we are not anticipating any wintry weather, but it will be a noticeable change from what you've been seeing here over the past few days. So this is what you can expect through midnight skies, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, mid-50s by midnight, right around 50 as you wake up early in the morning for tomorrow. Clouds and radar together showing sunshine early in the day. Notice these high clouds. There's an upper level disturbance moving quickly across the Arklatex and it's spreading some high clouds. A few scattered showers through southern Louisiana. Those should stay well south of our area for tonight. Big surge of cold air headed our way. Looks like the coldest air with this system basically is going to stay up into parts of the upper the mid Mississippi Valley, the upper Mississippi Valley and the Ohio Valley into the uh, mid Atlantic states. But we're going to kind of get grazed by the very southern edge of it. That means highs are going to go from the 70s tomorrow to the 50s Wednesday, Thursday. Looks like our coldest mornings will be Thursday and Friday morning. I think by uh, Thursday morning would easily see temperatures into the upper 20s and it looks like for Friday morning down into the lower 30s. So prepare for a few chilly mornings towards the end of the week. Stack up the firewood, get that ready. We do warm back up though well into the 70s here by this coming weekend. So this cold blast is going to be very brief. Tomorrow's forecast looks like this sky is mostly cloudy, maybe a shower or two, nothing too significant. By the time we head into late Tuesday, Wednesday, look at all the rain that moves in the area and it looks like a wet chilly day on Wednesday. Again, highs likely not getting out of the 40s and 50s with off and on rain throughout the day and a wind that's going to make it feel even cooler. Notice here by Wednesday evening, the showers continue, especially I-10 southbound. So it's going to be kind of one of those raw days. And then that's when we expect some of the coldest weather here by Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Forecast for tomorrow looks good, though. Temperatures around 70 across Mobile and Baldwin County from Citronelle down the Gulf Shores. Inland sections, mostly cloudy skies. Very slim chance for an afternoon shower, but really nothing too significant here. Temperatures expected to be around 70 degrees. Northwest Florida, low to mid 70s, partly cloudy skies, 74 Crestview, 71 in Pensacola and Southeast Mississippi, mostly cloudy, mostly dry. Temperatures around 70. 7 day forecast. 73 tomorrow, down to 52 on Wednesday. It's going to be kind of a raw, chilly, wet day. 90% chance for rain down to 29 for Thursday morning. High still only in the 50s for Thursday, but by this weekend we warm back up and right now we're tracking our next storm system. Joe Kane Day looks fine, but next Monday and Fat Tuesday potential for some more wet weather, maybe even a few thunderstorms. Of course, we'll be fine tuning that forecast as we go along. Man, you said yeah. Sunday was going to be noisy too. I had a couple more hit me uh, right on the bedpost. <laughs> Those, <laughs> that thunder was ridiculous. Those lightning strikes were crazy. Yeah, it seems like we could. We may even see some more here with this next system coming mm. up towards the end of the week. All right, Derek, thanks so much.